Hello and welcome back to Father of Two Plates on the Sea. Last time we made it to the Cumean Canal and we were about to see what was going to happen here. The canal ascends through locks and gates and shadowed turns to the sunlight of the surface. Travel to the surface. The sun is dangerous to neath dwellers like your crew, but the surface has temptations. So, if we go to the surface, we need 22 fuel just to get there. We need more than that to travel around and make it worth our while, so that's not, that's not going to happen this time. Um, what are menaces? I can't remember. Oh, that must be from getting exposed to sunlight, yearning, burning. Listen for <laughs> Listen for surface gossip. The ship of the surface, ships of the surface linger here. This is their lifeline to the warmer place. Daylight. This would be a prime spot for a pub or wine shop, but the interests of the Echo Bazaar and the laws of London prevent it. They don't like competition. Still, there are temporary half-legal hostelries in long-moored ships. Here you trade stories with suntanned surface sailors, stories of Paris and Batavia, Batavia, the Lost Fires, and the Final Isles. We have one vision of the surface. Gather information for a port report. Many ships pass this way, but perhaps you'll pick something, pick up something they missed. Unlock with no more than zero perfunctory reports. So here's our report. Business as usual. The gate open, or the gates open and shut. The locks remain free from sabotage. If anything besides London is safe and all the intersy, it's here. The surface notions or nations have an interest in keeping the way open. Okay. That's it for now then. Well, I uh, we have plenty of fuel, maybe not so much on food. But I think we're going to risk it and head, ooh, turn off our light, and head south a little further. And then, how far away are we? And then we'll loop up back around north. So, turn our light back on. And send out our bat. See if we could find any nearby isles. Oh, we want to steer clear of that fog. The Iron Republic far to the south. Not that far. We'll make it there, and then maybe we'll swing around and head back north. Is that a ship over there? I think I saw a light at the edge of the screen, but I can't tell. Let's see if the z bat sees anything else. Well, there's definitely a maelstrom there. Just the Iron Republic again. Better turn on our light. We do have quite high terror, so mitigating it would be best, I believe. The electric shiver, an electric shiver to the air. Storm is watching, the sailors would say. And I like this music. Discovered the Iron Republic and Adam's Doom. Okay, well, this place looks quite lively. What is that floating in the air? Pages? I can't tell. Van Horn Harbor. We shall make port then. Iron Republic, Hell's Client State. Be wary, their laws are not the laws of man or nature. Factory engines roar like false lions. Blood thunders in the dock pipes. Crimson lightning skitters across the decks. decks leaps to the rail, curls there like a cat. The city is reflected in glassy, calm harbor water. The citizens there have the heads of dogs and serpents. Hell has brought the freedom, or has brought freedom to the Iron Republic. Freedom from all law, even those of nature. Listen. Your fears line up on the quay. Your fears line up on the quay, waiting, waving, like old lovers? Oh, that sounds horrifying. Can we do anything here? We might as well... Oh. Ooh, 20 Echoes. Do we have anything to sell? Let's check at the shops. No. They have quite cheap fuel, though. Um... 
market of hungers, the parliament of flies. The market of hungers with its spires and sigils, it is a parody of the bazaar. Today, flies fill its arcade. Buzz, buzz. Hmm. Should we compile a port report first? It won't be entirely straightforward. The streets won't lie straight, and the ink freezes whenever you look away from the inkwell. Okay, let's do it. New passions. The sensations of the Republic are overwhelming. This is a desire for the years. Or, this is a desire for years? That, that is a hatred for fountains. Here is an emotion that can only be expressed mathematically. Now you are awash with nostalgia for the hatching of the egg. Write it down. Write it all down. Perhaps you'll be rid of it. Tale of Terror. That's our third one. All right, that old man forced us to listen to his tale of, of the Z. Uh, memory of a distant shores. Hearts remain unchanged. And a port report. Excellent. Anything else? No. So we shall sail away. <laughs> okay, so we are quite far south and we're running low on supplies, so we should make our way back north after heading east a ways. Perhaps we will find something with the Z-Bat. We want to steer clear of the fog. Our sanity is not doing too well. Nothing too scary on the horizon yet. And we fed the crew. We only have four more food left. I don't know. But we have our new officer, the engineer, so our fuel efficiency is much better. But that doesn't help us with food. The food goes up, or, or hunger goes up much slower. Oh, what is this? And new music. Some type of mushroom, or... Fathom King's Hold. Let us check that on the map. Well, it's not far away. We should make port. Oh, here it is. A sailor raises her head, sniffs sharply. Blood on the wind. You have gained a secret. The promised Z, or C. I didn't get to read that. Maybe I'll read it after. The Fathom King's Hold. Lorcan's Port. Named for the most enterprising of drownies. Phosphor cells burn green somewhere below the king waits. The Fathom King hold. Like an iceberg, like a bizarre master scheme, like the neath itself, most of the hold is invisible. You see only a tiny portion of sculpted coral. Ah, so it's coral. The rest waits below the surface, the Fathom King's bone rooms and aquaria, his pearl snares and his dining chambers. Descend to an audience with the Fathom King. The Fathom King is the Lord of the Drownies, those dead who won't stop swimming. By some accounts, he's the Lord of all who die at sea. Bring him a story to tickle his curiosity. So we don't have a Z story. Permit shore leave. Perhaps your sailors would like to take to the shore? The air ashore? Hmm, let's compile a port report first. No Sintelag. Others who come and go, those granted audience return dazed, awestruck. The king is not generous, but occasionally he is fair. Okay, permit shore leave. A ruby dream. Captain, I walked the shore at the edge of the coral caps. The drownies sported there. They called my name. They said I could join them if I partook of the feast. Their eyes were red pearls. Captain, I dare not sleep. There is such a hunger on me. Uh, so we gained hunger. Oh, that's not good. And we gained terror. Well, that did not go well. Do we have anything? No. No shops. Oh. That was not great for us. And we got a ship over there. I don't think it's friendly. So let's head directly north. We should turn our light on. Our terror is far too high to be messing around. Okay. Anything else at Z? Tell us, Barrett. The Gazetteer. Full power. So that's... I'm not missing any controls. That's a good thing. I was forgetting about the Z-Bat forever. 
Right, there was something that happened that I wanted to read. The promised... Oh, are you a traitor? What are you? Tramp steamer, okay, good. The promised sea. All through this place. Oh, all through this place. Drownies lie shivering sweet along the wind. Oh, we need to kill that. Shepherd's Wash, the salty hinterland of London, home to hermits, nuns, and shadowy business. Okay, we need we need you to die, sir. That was a bad shot. That wasn't a good idea. I thought it was fully charged. Okay, there's a better one. Oh, we're not gonna. Oh, we just missed it. Getting hit there. I guess feeding us some is better than better than using up our supplies. So, we'll lose our 12 hunger. It's too bad we gained hunger at the last port. Uh, Flitter, Flitterstone Island? There must be a port nearby. I mean, it looks like there's a port there. Shepherd Isles is some distance to the northeast. Okay, so we're pretty close. I wonder what's over there. Maybe we should check that out on the way. We don't want to miss too much. There could be something important or a good trade route. Thornwell Croft, Shepherd Isles. Discovered Field Haven. And we heard distant bells. Because something awaits us in port, I believe. Well, let us make port in Field Haven here. They have a lighthouse even. This place seems cozy almost. What's that down there? Maybe I should check that out as well. But I don't want to have to resort to cannibalism. Sheep, lichen, standing stones, shepherd's isle. Her shepherd isle. Of course, the bearded watchman tells you. There are no actual shepherds on the shepherd isles. Sheep are mostly illegal here. No, indeed. It's just the name of the gentlemen that found the islands. Greybeard sitting in the village square nods solemnly. No sheep, one says, but plenty of tales. Ask us anything. Tales of the Standing Stones. The bearded villagers are happy to talk about the local sites. Well, sight. Hmm. Oh, we can engage an officer here. We never have enough money yet. Well, let's get our port report first. Oh, yes, yes, my yes. There's been goings on. In the bleak light of oh, the false stars. Surface rolling like a porridge pot. Up with the roar of the steam and flash of fire. Three widows swimming. Tentacles. And then we saw his highness. There's rather a lot of this material. <laughs> Tentacles. Um. Three graves. Standing stones. Thornwell Croft. Let's start with the top one. We already read that. A long way from home, you heard of the pillared sea where Iram lies. Wise man from Iram came here. Oh, eighty year ago, he planted three pillars. They're as big as fingers when I were young. Or they were as big as fingers when I were young. Now, they're as you see them. In my son's time, they'll be as big as dock cranes. Okay. Okay, that's weird. M memory of a distant shore, so we get to pick one of those. So where were these? Is this those standing stones? I guess it would be. And what do we have right here? Another port. We should definitely make port here. Abbey Rock. Station 3 to the northeast. The Sisterhood. Hmm. <clears throat> we are running low on supplies. Maybe we can get some while we're here at the Sisterhood, though somehow I don't think they're friendly, or at least not what they appear. Here the Grim Sisters' lair. A black spit of an island. Abbey Rock, a black spit of an island, far from anywhere anyone would want to go, and that's how the Sisterhood likes it. Here stands their fortress convent. There are bear traps that look friendlier than this. Trade supplies. Uh, 
No, we don't want to get rid of our supplies. Compile the report report. As always, nothing is happening. The sisters watch us. We feel their eyes. The sea crashes on the rocks, withdraws. The fortress stands stolid as the last year of a century. The greatest peril you risk here is the certain purpleness of prose. A knock at the iron-studded gates with news. Okay. Brief attention, the muscular prioress, the abbess's lieutenant, lieutenant, comes to the door to listen. She nods and makes notes. She pays particular attention to the news of marsh beast pred predations and the traffic off of the rooftops. In return, she offers a rather perfunctory blessing, but the blessing reassures your crew. So, two terror lost, I can't complain about that. Yeah, let's search our surroundings. A cache. You follow tracks into a sea cave. Someone has stored food, supplies, ammunition. It can't be the nuns. These crates have a conate look. The Admiralty will want to know about this. <clears throat> Pardon me. Strategic information. Torpedo components. Five supplies. Thank goodness. And five fuel. Well, now we're doing well. How quickly things change at Z. So we found another place to our north here. And I'm wondering if I set my timer or not. I wouldn't want to make the episode too long. Um, I think I did. Now what have we here? Depot A, right. We found station 3 with the z -band. Well, let's dock here. And... Maybe before we venture into Station 3, I'll end the episode. So, leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you want to see more, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Until next time, this has been Father of Two.